Father, we adore you this morning. We bless your holy name. We magnify you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord, Father. You who reigns above the cherubims, O oh God. You who is above all things. You who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. The God of heaven. The great I am. We bless your name this day, O oh God. We say there is none like you, Alpha and Omega. There is none like you, omnipotent, omnipresent. And Father, we come before you this morning to say, You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty, the one who was, who is, and who is still to come. King of kings, Lord of lords, my Father and my God. I disappear that you may appear, I decrease that you may increase. Let it be more of you and less of me, O oh God. Let it be more of you and less of that man, King of glory. Before men see us, let them see you. Let your glory shine on us, King of, King of kings. Forgive us, Lord, Father of our trespasses, O oh God, in our meditations, in our speech, and in our actions, O oh God. Have mercy unto us according to loving kindness, O oh God. Cast us not away from your presence. Take not away thy Holy Spirit away from us. Create a pure and concrete heart in us. Create fear, your fear in us, O oh God. In our hearts, O oh God. The, conscious of, the consciousness of heaven, O oh God. Teach us how to eschew evil. Strengthen us, O oh God. Give us self-control, King of glory. We thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you, O oh Lord, for life, for salvation. We thank you for the oxygen, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty and marvelous name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord somebody. Glory, glory, glory be to the most high God. Welcome to It Is Written. A program where we share the names of God. From Genesis to Revelation. We have been sharing names. Today is name number 86. So for 86 days we've been dropping a name. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing. Thank you for being part of this program. For those that have not subscribed, I encourage you to do the same. Let's make Jesus famous. Let us proclaim Jesus this month. Share it with a friend. Share it with a loved one. Let them come here. Let us learn about God. Let us know God. For when we know God, we shall know more of ourselves. The Bible says in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, and God was with the word. When we study God, we study our lives, we study. When we know God, we get to know, we, we get to know ourselves. And the Bible says forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. In, in, in Psalms 118, 89. And who is the word? The word is Jesus Christ himself. It revealed in Revelation 19, 13, that his word, his name is the word of God. And the Bible tells me in the book of Hebrews 4, 12, that the word of the Lord is a double-edged, is as a double-edged sword. When we share the word, we are loaded, we are warded. When we are warded, we are protected. The word is a weapon against any principality and power, any wickedness in high places. Why the word? The Bible says. In Matthew 4, for our anchor scripture. And it is written, And man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. When we read the word of God, when we study the word of God, we are feeding our souls. We are nourishing our souls. Hallelujah, somebody. Welcome once again to it is written on Manifest Center Church. Life. 
thank you for your immense support. Forever grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at name number 86. And this name is going to come from the book of Daniel 5.23. The Lord of heaven, the God in whose hand our breath is. I repeat, the Lord of heaven, the God in, in whose hand our breath is. He's the one that holds our oxygen. He's the one that holds our candle. If he blows it off, it can be blown up. It can be lit up again. It is him who chooses whether we live or not. The Lord of heaven. The God in whose hand our breath is. Let's read Daniel 5, 22 to 28 to understand it better. So, here we see a conversation between Daniel and Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar. During his reign, he did a lot of evil. And then he dreamed a dream. And he saw a word, many men ate a kill, of a sin. And he was troubled. Let's read 22 and see the conversation, part of the conversation. And thou his son, O Belshazzar, hast not hum humbled thy, thine heart, though thou knowest all this, but hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, which is the name we, we've talked about, the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords, thy wives and thy concubines, and have wine and, and have drunk wine in them. He was drinking wine in the vessels of God. And thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold and of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear not, nor know. And the God in whose hand thy breath, thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you a few days ago that God has one problem with you. If you try to take his glory, when Herod, Herod spoke and the people said, his voice was like the voice of the gods and he accepted the glory. He got a slap from heaven. He died and the maggots came out of him immediately. The worms came out of his body. Never take God's glory in everything you do. Never take God's glory. Never attribute your success to yourself. Never attribute miracle signs and wonders to yourself. Even when God use you, uses you, give God the glory. For you're just a vessel. You're just nothing. You're like grass, which is today and tomorrow not. You're just a wind. That's blown here and there. Today you are, tomorrow you're not. Then was the part of the hand sent from him. This is Daniel explaining to him. And this writing was written. And this is the and this is the writing that was written. Many, many take care of a sin. This is the interpretation of the thing. God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Take care, thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the maids and passions. Hallelujah. The story goes, goes on and on and on. The king had to clothe Daniel with a scarlet, put a gold chain in his neck, made a proclamation concerning him to be the third ruler in the kingdom. 
But then we see in the night, Belshazzar was slain and Darius the Median, like it was said by Daniel, took the kingdom when he was three scores and two years. Hallelujah. What we learn here is never to take the glory of God. The message Bible calls him the master of heaven, the living God who holds our entire life from birth to death in his hand. The NLT calls him the Lord of heaven, the God who gives us the breath of life and controls our destiny. The easy to read version calls him the Lord of heaven, the God who has the power over our lives and everything we do. The amplifies, the amplified calls him the Lord of heaven, the God who holds in his hand our breath of life and our ways. The good news calls him the Lord of heaven, the God who determines whether we live or die and who controls everything we do. Hallelujah. The Lord of heaven, the God in whose hand our breath is. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to submit name number 86, the Lord of heaven the god in whose hand our breath is we get this from the book of daniel 5 23 at this very moment i want to welcome that man that woman that wants to welcome the lord of heaven the one the god who holds our breath just lift up those hands and say this after me say lord jesus i come before you this day i believe in my heart and i confess with my mouth that you are my personal lord and my savior forgive me my sins O oh lord father my trespasses of god Write my name in the book of life, erase it from the book of death. From this day I confess that I am born again and that I will walk with you, I will work for you, I will live for you. From this day I am born again, called forth to show your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And for those that are sick in body, just put your hand where it hurts. And let us pray and believe this God, the God of miracles, the God of signs and wonders, the one that walks among the lampstands of God, those are the seven spirits of the church, the bright morning star, the I am that I am, the Lamb of God, yet the Lion of Judah, the great I am. In Jesus' mighty name, I come against every trace of sickness and disease. I don't know the disease, but I know the healer. His name is Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Therefore, at this very moment, I come against every kind of sickness and every kind of disease. I command it to break from your life. I command it to break its hold over your life. Any trace of sickness, any trace of the cancer virus in your body, I command it to be flushed out. In Jesus' mighty name, you are free uh, and free indeed. Uh, by his stripes you are healed. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, uh, I command the parent to bear fruit uh, from this day. Uh, I declare you fruitful uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I command the blind to hear. Uh, I command the blind to see. Uh, I command the deaf to hear. Uh, I command them me to speak. Uh, I command the lamb, uh, rise and walk. Uh, I command the dead uh, receives, to receive life in your nostrils. Uh, Live again in Jesus' mighty name. Let the poor become richer. Let the weak become stronger. Let those that have been stranded be celebrated. Let them be favored in the name of Jesus. Let the nations of the world welcome you. Receive your visas. Receive your marital settlement. Receive your citizenships uh, in the name of jesus christ son of the living god uh, let the borders of the nations open unto you uh, and, and i speak uh, new opportunities uh, in career in business uh, in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god uh, amen and amen and amen uh, you are free uh, you are blessed uh, in jesus mighty name uh, amen and amen uh, thank you for being part of us uh, thank you for joining us uh, Thank you uh, for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe uh, as we are here sharing a name uh, every day uh, from Genesis to Revelation. Uh, 
Praise the Lord. Until we meet tomorrow, God bless you. God cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord of heaven, the God in whose hand our breath is, be merciful and gracious unto you. May he lead you by light of fire in the night and the cloud during the day. This morning as you walk out, as he was with the children of Israel, may he be with you. May the God of Bethel protect you, favor you throughout this day. May he break the necks of your enemies. May he disappoint the device of the crafty in the name that is above every other name, even the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Shalom.